What's going on everybody? Steve Pulaski back with another long-awaited Steve Pulaski Tries at the show dedicated to the analysis and appreciation of the products we know, love, and consume. So here we go. Uh, I got a lot of Tries at products I need to get to. I apologize for the delay, guys. It's been a little bit hectic over on my front. But no excuse. I'm going to try and do a Tries on a weekly basis until I knock all these out. I got the other varietal, this 1893 Citrus coming at you. I got Mountain Dew Spiked Lemonade, the Raspberry Lemonade, not the lemonade that I did last time, uh, and Green Label, White Label Mountain Dew. So there's a lot of products Steve Pulaski is going to be trying within the next few weeks. I'm hopefully going to do one a week. Uh, I might even be able to do two this week if my schedule allows for it, but we will see. But anyway, today, 1893 Black Currant Cola. A lot of people don't even think know that this uh, is out yet, and I didn't even know that 1893, the soda, which is made by Pepsi, it's a varietal of Pepsi Cola, I didn't even know these were doing well enough to uh, warrant the release of new flavors, okay? I really didn't know that that was a big thing or that that was something that was uh, happening or whatnot. But apparently it is, and apparently it's here, so we got to give it a try, okay? So, 1893 Current Cola. It has got 150 calories, 39 total, total carbohydrates, 55 milligrams of sodium, and 39 grams of sugar. Not a health drink. This is a 12-ounce can. Don't let the narrowness uh, uh, fool you. It's like a Red Bull over here that's got the same um, sort of consistency. Fair trade certified sugar, and it does have the little list of things that uh, differentiate it from other colas. It is a boldly blended cola made with cola nut extract, black currant essence, which I'm not really sure. I think it's currant, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not very, I'm not very um, educated in that department. Sparkling water, real sugar. And it's also made, like I said, fair trade certified sugar on the bottom. This is one of two new launch flavors, too, or one of two new flavors, not a launch flavor. This has been out for quite a while. Um, they have the original cola. They have the ginger cola. I tried both. They're both pretty good. Um, and then they got this black currant, and they have citrus. Abrupt cut. I apologize. Anyway, though, 1893 black currant cola. Let's get to it. Let's give it a nice little pour over here. Got to be very careful not to drip. I'm pouring a little bit carbonation heavy. If you pour it with a little bit less of an incline or a little bit more down the glass, uh, you'll get it so it doesn't get uh, the carbonation. But I kind of like to look at the, the head of the drink in addition, even though it's not like booze. It's not like beer or anything. But it's got a very, very odd kind of smell to it. Almost like a very, like it's an essence. It definitely lives up to being like black currant essence. kind of has like a lavender smell. It's very different than what you expect. I would think it's lavender-like. Because, again, I'm not really sure what Black Quran is, and that's kind of my fault for not doing prior research. But it, it, it's got a very, very nice smell to it, though. I will say that's very aromatic, if you will. Light body, very refreshing, lighter beverage, doesn't have like that kind of syrupy heaviness of a Pepsi, mainly because it is real sugar. It doesn't have that thicker consistency of corn syrup, which I think it's nauseating after a while, unless you're drinking uh, like a fountain drink or whatnot. But it does have like a plucky, fruity, um, sweeter taste to it. Almost kind of like a, like I said, like a little bit of grape, a little bit of lavender, a little bit of blueberry, kind of like a mix of those flavors, like a very odd sort of amalgamation of those flavors. It's very good, though. I, I got to say, this is a very good beverage. Kind of forgot to address the color, too. It's a little bit of a purplish or like a lighter black, like I would say light black purplish kind of color, sort of like the can, I would say. I like this. Probably my favorite line of the 1893 drinks I've had thus far. I'm going to give this one a 3.5 out of 4 stars. I think it's got a great body, great texture to it. I think it has a really nice sort of fluffy feel to it. It's a very easy drinking um, soda as well. And it probably, cola, excuse me, and it probably makes a good for a good mixer for mixed drinks as well. I'm Steve Pulaski. Catch my review of 1893 Citrus Cola and many others coming soon on Steve Pulaski Tries It. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.